Well, thanks, Dancy. Certainly a great lineup for the coming season. Death and life are in the power of the tongue, and those who love it will eat its fruits. That's just one of the many things the Bible and Proverbs has to say about the tongue. In his latest teaching, Bill Harris talks about the power we have to affect change in our everyday lives by the things that we say. And he challenges us with the responsibility we have to speak life into our world. All right, Bill, I'm going to throw a fact out here for you from a university study, I believe in California, mm -hmm. studying the use of words, suggesting that both male and female come relatively close, but using, we use 16,000 words within a day, the average wow. male or female. And so we're talking about words and specifically the tongue today, yeah. which is something the Bible talks a lot about. Mm -hmm. the, the tongue is a very powerful thing. It has the power of life and death. And uh, I, I liken it to this. We are made in the likeness and image, image of God. When he created the world, he spoke it into existence by wor words. I, I contend that you and me as Christians, we can speak our world into existence by words. When we say positive things, it sets out forces to bring those things to, to, to pass. And I don't mean it in a spooky sense, hmm. but we can create our own positive atmosphere by the positive things we say. We can create our own negative attitude by the negative things that we say. So we create our world and it is very important. In fact, it is a responsibility we have to make sure that the words coming out of our mouths are positive and are pure. Well, of course, the Proverbs talks a lot about the tongue as well as the rest of the Bible, Jesus said that we will be uh, justified and or condemned by our own words. And there is sometimes where we focus on words and speaking positively and making sure that the words coming out are, are appropriate and positive. But you kind of focus more on the fact, like you mentioned, you can cause change. You can affect change sure. in life through your words. Uh, obviously, because uh, faith comes by hearing and hearing the word of God. Mm -hmm. And when the word of God is spoken, it generates faith in us and it, it also generates the faith for us to say positive things about our future so that we can pursue those things and we have a mindset and a mental attitude toward, uh, toward the positive rather than the negative. Uh, conversely, I think when you look at the negative side, I've often said in my marriage seminars, if you keep telling a child he's bad, he won't disappoint you. <laughs> he's going to go that route, right, you know. Yeah. So we have to speak positive, positive things into people's lives. Well, of course, the word also tells us that a, a soft answer turns away wrath. Yes. And you touch on that as well and kind of go into the effects of maybe causing wrath or causing discord, as you mm -hmm. say. The positive words uh, are great. When we go negative, it creates wrath. And the, the word wrath means heat. Mm -hmm. And what happens very often is we, we fail to realize that when we speak something, we can't take it back mm -hmm. if we said something negative. And now there's this, there can be unforgiveness and bitterness, and that can have physical effects. When we're harboring that, un, that, that unforgiveness because of something that was said to us and we're going to get back by harboring it, it can affect us physically with sickness. It can affect us spiritually because we know that God's forgiveness is, of us is contingent upon our forgiveness <laughs> of others. And so it creates distance between us and God. Emotional effects can be the bitterness and anger. The mental effects can be low self-esteem. Oh, yes. Wow. Well, and it seems like I don't have a statistic for this fact, but it seems too that it's just almost contagious that once we begin to buy in and speak negatively and buy into those negative thoughts, and if we're told and spoken to us negative things mm -hmm. often, it's almost contagious in that it kind of blurs and snowballs into something bigger. It does. It's, it's, it becomes cancerous, mm -hmm. Zach. And it, it, when a mom says your dad's no good, the kid grows up to believe his dad's no good. Right. Then when he gets to be a grown adult, he tells his kid, your grandkids, your granddaughter is no, no good, you know? Mm -hmm. And it just goes on from generation to generation. You got to break the cycle with positive things that we say um, so that we can create a, a better world in our Christian environment. And when we look at the words of Christ, look at how he addressed different situations. There were times where he could have rebuked or where he could have scorned people. The woman at the well who had been in marriage five times, mm -hmm. now living common law with a man, he didn't put that woman down. He didn't condone what she was doing, mm -hmm. but he didn't put her down. The woman, right. the, the woman who touched his garment, who had um, been seeking help through medical doctors and the like, that woman had no right to be there because she was unclean. He didn't put her down for that. Mm -hmm. You see? Yeah. And so if we look at the fact 16,000 or however many thousand words we use in oh, a day, yeah. Yeah. they can seem so small, the words can, but they can have big, there's big proportions there. And you yes. mentioned the nation of Israel. 
being split over this exact matter. Isn't that something? When uh, Jer um, Jeroboam, I believe is his name, uh, when he took over after his father Solomon passed away, the older, wiser uh, men surrounding his father advised him to soften up on the people of Israel. Mm -hmm. He says, no, I'm going to be harder. He followed the advice of the younger guys and he became harder. And when he became harsh like that, it split the nation. So you had one powerful nation that split up into two weaker nations mm -hmm. who eventually were overtaken by their enemies. Just a reminder that you can hear more about this topic starting Sunday here on TV44, and you can watch Update with Bill Harris every Sunday at 1.30 and Thursdays at 9 a.m. Mark?